We're gonna try something different on today's video. Now, whenever we find one of these wild and crazy pigments, we pick a base color, we spray it full scale, and then I always see in the comment section below that people are very curious to see what that pigment would have looked like over alternative base color. So here's how today is gonna go. We've got this wild pigment right here. And as you can see up on the wall, we've got three different base colors. So after we mix up the pigment, we're actually gonna spray that pigment on three base colors with you guys, have a conversation about which one looks the best, and then take that full scale. First time we've ever done this, right? Correct. Right. So it's October. Every year we like to do a breast cancer awareness dip. Usually we do it on the RS7. Here is Did Spade's stupid cupid holographic pink flake look at this stuff it's freaking nuts we've used holographic flake in the past we've never used a colored holographic flake right we have which one it was either a blue or a green on the mustang when we did it over ztg we've never done a pink holographic flake right Correct. Right. So here's what this stuff looks like. It's freaking unbelievable. The sparkle, the size is perfect. Sometimes you can get a little bit too big when it comes to holographic flake. This is right in the middle. The sparkle is going to be unbelievable. The color is going to be unbelievable. The question though, well, two questions. One, pigment size, no. Pigment load. <laughs> question one, pigment load, thoughts? Because you can go wrong on pigment load with flake real quick. Well, in the past, we've always done around 25 grams a gallon or less. Or pigment. less. So 25? Yeah. OK. We've got a scale here because these jars are freaking massive. So let me get, what do we need, 50 grams then? Yes. Because then we're going to cut it with another gallon. Holy crap, this stuff is fluffy. All right, that's eyeballed about 50-ish. Oh my God, it's a lot of flake. Just sitting there. Yeah, and it's gonna sink fast too. All right, this is gorgeous. So again, what base color? So we've got a black base, we've got a fierce pink base, and we've got our white base. So we'll be able to see what this holographic pigment looks like over all three and then decide as a team what we want to do full scale. So what do we do now? Spray it? These? Get a Provol and let's spray it. All right, it's time to review our speed shapes and make a decision. So here is the pink holographic flake over a white base. And this kind of demonstrates what Gabe and I always talk about, about pigments being darker than that white base. Unless you're using an interference style pigment, it's really hard to use a white base. Here it is over a fierce pink base. This starts to make a lot more sense. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up 100%. It will be much better once we get it full scale and outside, but this looks pretty freaking cool. And then here it is over a black base. Now I will say, it's more captivating over a black base, but is it pink? It really isn't. It almost looks like a standard holographic over black. So if we're trying to do a pink holographic for breast cancer awareness months, I mean, does the pink make more sense than the black? I would say so because you just kind of lose the pink with this one, right? It's a more intense effect, but I'm kind of glad we did this too, because Gabe and I were both kind of thinking the most intense effect, the best we're gonna get is over black, but this makes a lot more sense. Okay, so we're gonna go pink holographic over fierce pink on the RS7. Let's go.
All right, guys, we're all done with the project. Now, when it comes down to working with holographic pigments and flakes, if you find a lower quality holographic, the effect is actually gonna be pretty mild, mostly a silvery shimmer effect with a little bit of color. But if you're able to find a high quality holographic pigment, holy crap, it will blow up once you get it into the sun. Millions of different colored iridescent lights all over, and that's exactly the effect we're getting with this Did Spade Flake. It's unbelievable. We're gonna take it outside right now. You guys know what to do. Take a look at the car, leave a comment below, and rate this one one through five. Tell us if you love it or if you hate it. And I know this one's a little special because my wife just came and dropped me off some coffee at work, and she texted me from the parking lot and was like, holy crap, is that pink RS7 the one you guys just did for this week's video? Because it's nuts. And I've been doing this 13 years, and she rarely gets excited about any of the cars that we do. If you want to dip your own wheels, your own car, your own emblems, click right up here. All of our kits are in one spot for you. I had a ton of fun on this project. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I'll see you on the next one.